From WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. Another unseasonably mild day across the Twin Tiers. I keep saying to myself, I hope we don't have to pay the price come May when we get a blizzard or a snowstorm, something like that, because, boy, this winter has been very easy. Temperatures well above average and not a whole lot of snowfall. So, again, uh, as I look forward, it doesn't look like there's going to be much opportunity for snow in the next seven days, at least, even though we do have a brief cool down headed our way. Uh, as early as tomorrow night and into Thursday. Check out the almanac for the day today. This is just unreal with a, a high temperature of 67 degrees. Normal high this time of year is 39. So the record high today was 56. So we just crushed that record. Seven, or 67 again was our official high temperature. And uh, we started the day off at 26. Look at other high temperatures across the region. Wellsville. Dansville, Rochester, Syracuse, all in the 70s for high temperatures today. So again, it was feeling more like late April or even early May as opposed to late February. Even at this late hour, we're still looking at temperatures in the upper 40s and some lower 50s out there as well. Now some active weather is expected as we go through the next 24 hours. Wind advisory goes in effect tomorrow afternoon, last into early Thursday morning. We will be tracking more showers, even the risk for some thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and early evening. We're expecting a sharp temperature drop. We'll go from the 60s tomorrow afternoon into the 20s tomorrow night, and that'll happen within just a couple hours, and that potentially could result in a flash freeze. All associated with this cold front that will be coming through, gusty winds associated with it, and then sharply colder temperatures. There may be a brief changeover to some flurries or snow showers behind the front, but it's mainly rain that we'll be tracking. Speaking of rain, we have a couple showers coming through uh, Pennsylvania right now. Some severe weather tornado warning and more severe thunderstorm warnings here over southwestern areas of Michigan. And then the cold front itself is just to the west of Chicago. That's what's going to sweep on through by tomorrow afternoon. In the meantime, again, a couple showers could pass through during the overnight period. Can't even rule out a rumble of thunder as we do have some elevated instability in place. Speaking of instability, let's track that cold front for you tomorrow. In the morning, just a couple passing showers. Notice the temperatures well up into the 50s to around 60 by midday. Here comes that line of convection around 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. So generally between 2 and about 5 o'clock pushing through our region. This is when we have the potential for some damaging wind gusts, and we can't even rule out some severe thunderstorm warnings being issued by the National Weather Service. We're at a one out of five on the severe weather scale, and again, any threats with those thunderstorms would be the damaging wind threats. Even outside of any thunderstorms, it's going to be a windy day. 65 is what we forecast today. We hit 67, which was a, a record-breaking high temperature. 45 tonight, so temperature's not moving much. Back into the 60s tomorrow. Showers and maybe some thunderstorms for the afternoon. Sharply colder Thursday, but uh, then we quickly rise back up into the low 50s Friday and we keep it unseasonably mild through the weekend and into early next week.